Good morning everyone. Welcome back to our home economics online class. I am Ms. Mary Ann Fonte, your teacher for today. So we are now in lesson 3, Performance of Maturation in Calculation. Today, we are going to learn about unit of time conversion, ratios and proportion in calculation of room occupancy per room or the ROPR and the total room sales or the TRS. Our objectives for today's lessons are, first, perform calculations on the room occupancy per room or the ROPR and the total room sales or the TRS, and prepare simple front office reports. Let us now begin with the unit of time conversion. So these are the standard unit of time. So we all know that in one minute we have 60 seconds and in one hour we have 60 minutes and in one day we have 24 hours and in one week we have 7 days and 12 months in a year and 365 days in a year. The question is, how will we convert unit of time? So in converting minute to seconds, we have to multiply minute by 60 seconds. To convert hour in minutes, we have to multiply hours by 60 minutes. And to convert day in hours, we have to multiply day times 24 hours. And in converting week to days, we have to multiply week times 7 days. And to convert year into months, we will multiply year by 12 months. And to convert year into days, we will multiply year times 365 days. Okay, let's have an example. How many hours are there in 3 years? So we all know that in one year we have 365 days and in one day we have 24 hours. So we have to multiply 3 years times 365 days. So the answer is 3 times 365 days is equal to 1095. So we also multiply 1095 times 24 hours. So the answer is 26,280 hours. So meaning to say in three years, we have 26,280 hours. Okay, so here's another example. Jenny has only 3 hours and 26 minutes under her schedule check out. She wants to watch a movie that goes for 191 minutes. Does she have enough time to watch the whole movie before her schedule check out? So the question here is, does she have enough time to watch the whole movie before her schedule check out? So let us convert hours in to minutes so we all know that in one hour we have 60 minutes so we have to multiply 3 times 60 minutes so 60 times 3 is equal to 180 plus 26 minutes so 180 plus 26 minutes is equal to 206 minutes so meaning to say um, Jenny have enough time to watch the whole movie before her scheduled check out because so 191 minutes only to watch the movie but she still she still have 206 minutes before her scheduled check out. Let us now proceed to the ratios and proportion. 
Okay, so ratio. So what is it? By the way, ratio. I know that you are familiar with this word ratio. So when we say ratio, it is a comparison of two quantities that have the same unit. And ratio we can express in two, three different ways. So the first one here is 16 over 10 or fraction form with the use of the bar separator and then the second one is with the use of the colon and we can read it as 16 is to 10 and the third one is using the word 2 and it also read as 16 is to 10. Okay so let's have an example. So, a recipe for puto uses 4 cups of flour and 3 cups of milk. So, what is the ratio of flour to milk? So, what is the ratio of flour to milk? So, in making a puto, we can use 4 cups of flour and 3 cups of milk. So, the ratio here is 4 is to 3. 4 cups of flour and 3 cups of milk. 4 is to 3. Here is another example. Grade 8 Madalino is composed of 32 boys and 24 girls. So the question is, what is the ratio of girls to boys? So the answer is, 24 is to 32 because we have 24 girls in 32 boys. So ratio is also expressed in lowest term. So what, how can we express it in lowest term? Okay, so to express ratio in lowest term, we have to uh, arrange this into fractions. So 24 is 24 over 32. And then we have to get the greatest common factor. So 24 and 32, the greatest common factor is 8. So we have to divide it, we have to divide it by 8. So 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. And 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. So the great the lowest term of 24 over 32 is 3 4 so 24 is to 32 is equal to 3 is to 4 okay so another example shelburne hotel has 45 suite room and 50 family room so what is the ratio of the suite room to family room so the ratio here is 45 is to 50 so how will we get the uh, lowest term of 45 to 50 so we have to get the greatest common factor of 45 in 50 so 45 and 50, the greatest common factor is 5. So we have to divide it. 45 divided by 5 is equal to 9. And 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10. So therefore, uh, the lowest term of 45 and 50 is 9 over 10. Or 45 is to 50 is equal to 9 over 10. Next is we have the proportion. So what is a proportion? So proportion is a statement the two ratios or rates are equal. So we have two ratios here. 3 is to 5 and 21 is to 35. So how can we know that these two ratios are proportion? So by the way, these two ratios are composed of two parts. So 5 and 21 is the means and 3 and 35 is the extreme. So we have to multiply the means, which is 5 and 21, and 3 and 35, which is the extreme. So if the product is the same, meaning to say these two ratios are proportional. Okay, so let us check if these two ratios is proportion. So we will get the means 5 and 21. So we will multiply this 5 times 21 is equal to 105. And we will also multiply the extreme which is 3 and 35. So 3 times 35 is equal to 100. 
5. So, they have the same product. So, meaning to say, 3 is to 5 and 21 is to 35 is proportional. Okay, so here is another example. We have an x or the unknown variable. So, 4 over 9 is equal to x is equal to 36. So, how will we know if this 2 ratio is proportion? So, we have to do the cross multiplication. So, 9x and 4 times 36. So, 9x is equal to 9x is equal to 4 times 36. 9x is equal to 4 times 36 is equal to 144. Then, 9, we have to divide it by 9. So, 9x divided by 9 is equal to x. Cancel 9. So, we have now the x. x is equal to 104 divided by 9 is equal to 16. So, the, the, the value of x is equal to 16. So, let us now substitute 16. So, we have now 4 over 9 is equal to 16 over 36. So, how will we know that this ratio is proportion? So, we will do now the cross multiplication again. So, 4 times 36 and 9 times 16. So, 4 times 36 is equal to 44 and 9 times 16 is equal to 144. Also. So, meaning to say that this ratio is also a proportion. Next is preparing simple front office report. First is the arrival report. So, we will get Room occupancy percentage or the ROP in a rival report. So, ROP is the front desk officer conduct the monitoring of the rooms available. So, in getting the room occupancy percentage or the ROP, here is the formula. So, we will have, we will get the room sold divided by the total rooms available times 100 is equal to ROP or the room occupancy percentage. Okay, so let's have an example. Rata Beach Resort in detail has a total of 20 rooms. Total of 20 rooms. As of March 31, 10 of their rooms have already been sold or occupied. Mr. Fonte, a front desk officer of Rata Beach Resort in detail, would like to know if how many rooms are occupied. So in getting this total rooms occupied, we will use the formula room sold divided by the total number of rooms. So, the room sold is we have 10 and the total rooms is 20. So, 10 divided by 20 times 100. So, 10 divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.50 times 100. So, the answer is 50%. Meaning to say 50% rooms are occupied in Roda Beach Resort and Hotel. Okay, another example. Let us analyze the daily room status report of Rada Mini Hotel. So, as you can see, Rada Mini Hotel has a total of 10 rooms and the room occupied is 7. So, to get the room occupancy percentage, we will use the formula rooms occupied divided by the total rooms available times 100. So, 7 occupied rooms and the total rooms available is 10. So, 7 divided by 10 times 100 is equal to 0 0.7 times 100. So, the answer is 70%. So, 70% are the ROP or the room occupancy percentage of mini hotel. Next is the departure report. So, in the part report, we will get the total room sales or the TRS. So, the front desk officer monitors the daily room sales report to know the summary of their sales. So, in getting the total room sales or the TRS, we will use this formula. Number of rooms sold times room rate is equal to the TRS or the total room sales.
Okay, example. Miss Nikki, the assistant manager of Hollywood Hotel, wanted to compete for the total room sales or the TRS of rooms 1 and 7 of the second floor. Given the following data, compute the TRS. So again, we will use the formula number of rooms sold times room rate. So number of rooms sold. So in room 1, the uh, sold three times in the room rate is 350. So in room 7, they used four times sold and then the rate is 1000. And then in, so we have to multiply. So three, so this meaning is to say this is three times sold the room 1. So three times 350 is equal to 1000. 50. Room 7, 4 times sold, so meaning to say 4 times the rate, which is 1,000. So 4 times 1,000 is equal to 4,000. Then add the 2, 1,050 plus 4,000 is equal to 5,050 pesos. So this is the total room sales of room 1 and 7. Okay, so another example. Miss Eileen, the front desk officer, wanted to compete for the total room sales of rooms of Wharf Manor Hotel. Given the following data, compute the TRS. So these are the data or the given. So in first floor, seven rooms are sold. So the room rate is 1,050. And on the second floor, eight rooms occupied or sold with the rate of 2,100 and on the third floor is five rooms sold with the rate of 2,780 pesos. Okay, so to get the total room sales of this hotel, we will multiply the uh, room sold with the room rate again. And then 7 times 1050 is equal to 7350. And then 8 on the second floor, 8 times 2100 with a total of 16800. And on the third floor, 5 times 2780 is equal to 13900. So we will add this 3. So 7,350 plus 16,800 plus 13,900 is equal to 38,050 pesos. So this is now the total room sales of this hotel. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you and God bless. I hope you learned something about this episode.